Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 it did not take them long to come with this theory, of course. And this was one of the theories I came up uh, regarding uh, Prigozhin's uh, downed plane. They said it was an accident. I said, well, I don't know. I made a video about this earlier and I showed a uh, the video of the plane going down and it was like a white little smoke over there before the plane was going down so i said well i don't know what happened but i do not rule out being hit by a missile i don't know whose missile uh, maybe uh, something else i'm not certain yet i said there's an act of sabotage inside the plane that means you do something with it and maybe an accident well now we have a uh, the us united states officials coming out and saying what well it was a uh, missile uh hitting the Prigozhin's plane we think well i don't know this is what they say and they will uh, give us more information a little bit later that's according to u.s officials that are conducting one investigation and the other one i have an article coming from the former mi6 boss british intelligence they know what they're talking about they found saddam's weapons of mass destruction remember <laughs> Anyway, so this guy comes out and tells us, actually, it could have been a device on board of the plane that detonated and caused the situation. The problem is a missile. If there was a missile, actually, it would have been parts of the plane, you know, exploded or uh, the plane. You can clearly see it just spiraling down. Boom, 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 boom. So if it's a missile, if you hit it, you got a lot of kerosene over there in that plane uh, in the wings or wherever else is stored so i think would have exploded unless you just barely touched it somewhere and then ooh, we lost uh, balance here losing altitude everyone all right so i have the articles here i have three articles one from reuters you gotta believe it the other one from the ukrainians who picked it from reuters i think and the third one comes from the business insider with a British former MI6, and I was about to say MIT, MI6 boss uh, telling us the boop, 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 the sabotage inside the plane. So let's start with the Ukrainska uh, Pravda. US believes Prigozhin's plane was probably shot down by missile from Russian Federation, Reuters. So they use actually this article. US officials see missile strike. They see it. Others, other theories behind crash of Prigozhin's plane. Well, what do you mean? If they see it, that means that's evidence, no? And we have this one right here. And we have Prigozhin's plane, Business Insider, may have been brought down by a device on board, former MI6 boss says. Now, this guy is logical, obviously, and he says, suggests former MI6 chief John Sewers, <laughs> or Sowers, <laughs> suggests a bomb could have been on board Prigozhin's plane. Possible? Several theories exist as to how the plane crashed, killing all those on board. I would have thought there was some device on board, end quote, Sawyer's uh, told BBC. So he says there that um, on board device could have been there that caused the crash. And he said something very smart. He said, well, I mean, smart. I think it's logical, but hey, what do you want? He said, if it would have been destroyed it says traces of air defense missiles one of the theories behind floated would be and i'm quoting detected through satellite means that's true so if it was uh something um a missile that could have been tracked over so you you would see it so it's one of the two we go back to the americans because they know they know best they knew where the, those weapons were in iraq uh north south east west uh, that's what uh what's his name um, i can't remember the weasel's name Jesus Christ uh, said, I will remember his name a little bit later, probably. Well, no, it was uh, Rumsfeld, remember? It's on TV. You can still, still find the video. The United States is looking at a number of theories over what brought down the plane, presumed to be carried mercenary, well, we already know it, including a surface-to-air missile hitting it. U.S. officials told Reuters on Tuesday. They already said they identified Prigozhin's body at the morgue through a certain kind of uh, <clears throat> particular body part no no that not that one russian air authorities have said Prigozhin, the right man pop up up dimitri utkin and eight other people were on the private plane that crashed with no survivors 
Two officials, the two officials speaking on a condition of anonymity, I love it, said that it was likely a surface-to-air missile originating from inside Russia likely shut down the plane. The official stressed that the information was still preliminary and under review. So it's an information, they said. It's preliminary, but under review. This is how it goes, just goes down. Poo -poo 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 anyway. And did not rule out a change to the assessment. Look how it goes down. I mean, anyway. The Wall Street Journal on Thursday reported a different, di reported a different story or theory the, that a bomb abroad aboard, Jesus Christ, the aircraft or some other sabotage caused the crash. Remember this guy? Well, we'll find, and a third US official told Reuters that there were a number of theories and no definitive conclusion had been reached. So we're going to find out what happened. Uh, Biden says this. They, now that every, everyone knows that it was Putin somehow, they all know. Uh, I will cover that in a different video next to, after this one, uh, where everybody is just, yeah, it was Putin. Yeah, yeah, he did it. Yeah, he did it. You imagine that you go to work and you say, well, my boss uh, committed that crime. <laughs> He's going to sue your ass. All right. But these guys just say, Putin did it. We all know it. No, you don't. No, you don't. But anyway, this is the way it works. And with, if you, uh, you know, the big lie, if you say a big lie and you start uh, saying it often enough and loud enough, people will believe it. And everybody's like, yeah, of course Putin did it. I mean, isn't he a bad dude? That qualifies him. That's enough to, for me. It's another thing that calls probable cause and it's another thing, you know, uh, innocent until proven guilty and so on. We forgot about that. Well, we apply that, apply that only to certain individuals, to others that we already said they're bad, all bad, only bad. We don't even have to conduct an investigation. You're just getting bugged and that's it, right? People, we're going back into the middle, middle ages and beyond, all right? That's not good. But hey, we didn't change my, much. Look at these guys. <laughs> they still think the thunder is uh, God uh, punishing us. So we didn't evolve. Some of us did not evolve at all yet. The Greeks told us about what, 2,400 years already that, hey, the thunder is not Zeus. Guys, wake up, smack, smack. But it's still, ooh, it's a plague, the signs, ooh, it's a tornado, it's a sign. Fuck off. Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. We're going to find out, this guy's going to say Putin did it, he pushed the button, he was like, now, now, now. <laughs> These guys are ridiculous. I'm not saying it's impossible. I made a video with uh, what I thought would be the most likely, as the Americans say, suspects in this. And who would benefit the most? Uh, Kibono. Who benefits? Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.